Congratulations on the victory. Uh, I'm sure now what you drew up in terms of when you were envisioning your victories, I guess what are the emotions, you know, now that you got a win over the previous number one contender? Yeah. Um, it, feel, it feels great, you know. Uh, I wish I could have made a different statement yeah. out there, right? Had that opportunity. Um, you know, Buena Silva is a warrior, man. I mean, she's one of the tougher people that I've had the opportunity to fight in this division. Uh, you know, but. I just it's just a it's just a result and a statement of, of the consistency that I've been putting in for so long, you know, for the last few years and and it's just it's just finally coming together. So it feels good. There's a lot more I need to work on. Um, but I just feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Up until the cut, how do you think the fight was playing out compared to your expectations? I thought it was going really well. Um, there was a lot of there, you know, I expected her to be very strong in the clinch. Um, you know, and, and of course she got to the clinch like she wanted to, but it's just, it's nothing that I haven't seen before. You know, I mean, I've been so consistent for the last few years, like I've said, that it's just, it doesn't matter what avenue we're going down, and you know, I'm gonna end up on top, I'm gonna end up in, in a dominant position. When you landed that elbow from the top, that cut her open, it kind of looked like you smiled a bit. I did. Um, did you know what, what was it? You know the fight was gonna prop, there was a chance that fight would end if the doctor got a look at it? That's not why I smiled. I smiled because I landed it and I saw how big the cut was. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, that was awesome. Uh, it just, it, 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 I smiled because I love it. This is what I love to do. Um, you know, I was 2-0 and when I went into the Ultimate Fighter, uh, so I just feel like I've grown up in the cage. Like the cage has literally been just a part of me since I've started MMA. In, at media day, you kind of you, you alluded to when you were breaking down her game plan that she was excelled when you guys were near the fence. Uh, in that first round, she really tried to push it yeah. through the fence. So, with, I know you said it was going well, but yeah. once you saw that happen, you were like, "Oh, I know what you're trying to do." Right? Yeah, yeah. So the first round, I was not supposed to clinch at all, uh, but I did not listen very well to that. Uh, well, when we clinched, I realized that the clinch wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. Um, so I didn't think to frame and go back to striking. Uh, I just kind of felt comfortable there. And can you kind of sympathize with her that like she wanted to keep fighting? Yeah. She was trying to walk yeah. away from the doctor. I know. Listen to them. Yeah. 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 I can. But I think I think they made the right choice. It was a pretty big cut. Obviously, uh, like. Like I said, uh, went over a former number one contender. What, where do you go from here? Like, are you one or two fights away from the title shot? Because it seems like since Amanda retired, you know, it's kind of wide open. Yeah, I hope so. I feel like I am. I really do. I feel like I've put in the work, and um, and like I said, I'm exactly where I where I'm supposed to be. Uh, you know, and Mick Maynard and Dana have taken awesome care of me. So whatever they want next for me, I want it. Macy over here. Congratulations on the win. Um, you mentioned, you know, uh, the layoff and then obviously having the good performance earlier this year, you get the win here tonight. I'm sure you want to ride that momentum. Is there sort of an ideal timeline you want to take your next fight? I know we're just coming off the win tonight. Right. Um, well, when I fought Panny back in March, you know, coach called me as I was flying home. Yeah. Hey, you want to fight 303? I'm like, hell yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I, you know, I've had enough time off to, uh, to hone my skills and keep hammering away at getting better. and. You know, we're on this run, let's do it. I'm ready for it. Macy, can you, uh, to your left, row, row. Gotcha. International Fight Week, the NHL drafts in town, there's been a lot of talk about the attendance of the gate. Can you just talk about the anticipation, building up the excitement, and then once you're in there, the energy in the building tonight? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, when I got, from when I got the call until now, yeah, I mean, that, that has been the biggest thing for me is, I had to try and keep my spirit right where it needs to be because every time I thought about International Fight Week, I literally got goosebumps. I was like, oh my God, I'm so hyped, right? Uh, and I've just had to do a lot of mental work on keeping everything right where it needs to be. And uh, and it's just, you know, I walked in there and I looked around and I'm like, man, I fucking love to be here. Like, this is exactly what I want to do, you know? And when I get in there, I don't want to get out. So lock the cage, close it, shut it, keep me in there. You know, and I'm gonna keep fighting my way through. 
Just one more over here, Macy. Um, you mentioned in media day, you brought up Kayla Harrison. It, it appears that uh, Juliana Pena and Raquel Pennington's gonna be next, so that seems like that's set. Um, Kayla will not have an opponent. Does that seem like ideal for you next to, to get that fight? Potentially, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's been in talks, obviously, you know? Um, I have a few ideas of who I think that she should fight before me, but, you know, like I said, I'm, the UFC's taken some, like, a lot of care of me, right? So. Whatever Dana and Mick want for me, I, I want it. Hey, see, uh, on that note, just over here next to James, uh, if the UFC asks you to backfill as a replacement, should Pena or Pennington fall out, is that something you'd be interested in? 100%. Yeah, I like it. And just one more uh, first back to back wins in a few years for you, both by stoppage. How does it feel to get back to that sort of consistency? It feels really good, and I just, there's a lot of things I needed to clean up outside of my life. Um, you know, to, to get to where I am now, and, and I needed that year and a half off to, to be exactly where I am right now. I really do. Would you be willing to share some of the things that you cleaned up during that time? Um, I needed I needed time off to to eat more calories. I wasn't eating enough calories, so making 135 was horrific. I was running 40 miles a week on top of doing camps. Um, and I was just kind of deteriorating, right? My mental health started slipping, uh, and I wasn't sure if I was going to come back to fighting. I really there was a there was a moment where I really thought I was gonna, I was done, and that was kind of rock bottom for me. And I think moving through that and working through all the kinks is really what has gotten me to where I am now. And I truly believe that. It just it was a lot of mental work, and it was a lot of doing the right things all the time, <coughs> not sometimes. Last one for me, uh, if the Macy from Rock Bottom could kind of see you sitting here today, International Fight Week, possibly on the verge of a title shot, uh, what would you say, how would you feel? Thank you for not quitting, right? Thank you for continuing to, to put one foot in front of the other. And, uh, you know, I had a dream last night, uh, right before I woke up, I was walking down this dark road with a, with a dark horse and I wasn't riding it. I didn't even know where I was going, I was just walking. And for me, interpretation is putting one foot in front of the other, right? You don't have to have an end goal, you just have to keep going. And, and uh, you fall down seven, you get up eight, right? And, and for me, it's when I look back at those things, it's, it just, it's just, I'm, this right now is just a product of what I'm always supposed to be, what I was meant to do. And, um, and I'm thankful for those times where I've been in rock bottom because it, I am who I am today because of it. Candor and congratulations. Thank you. Macy, hey, just, for, just for a quick clarification from what you said earlier, um, you said you had an idea of who you thought Kayla should fight before you. Uh, I know Kayla's new and she's yeah. the big name right now, so do you kind of put yourself like she needs to do work before she gets an opportunity to fight you? I would I would just like to see her fight some other physical girls. And it's not that, not that I don't want to fight her, I would love to fight her. I really want to see her fight Norma Dumont. I would love to see that fight. I think Kayla says you'd be down to fight, because Eileen Perez called her out too. Yeah. And Kayla was like, I'll fight her too. Yeah. Shit. Good. <laughs> hey, Macy, back here. Yeah. Uh, Macy, it's been quite a crazy night hearing about, you know, Dan Ige stepping in for Brian Ortega. I'm wondering, did any of that ever reach the locker room and the vibe yes. back there? Yeah, when I was in the back changing, I looked at the TV and they just said that uh, Brian Ortega was out. I was like, this is wild. Crazy. And then just wondering, what are your thoughts on who will win between Raquel and Julian Pena if that one comes through? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think it's possible Juli Juliana Pena might come up on top. I just, I mean, I think she's a lot more seasoned in that in that aspect, but I don't, I don't really know the caliber of her injuries right now. So, thank you. Yeah. Congrats on that win. Is this victory just that much more fantastic and amazing? It just feel good that it was not at an apex, but in the mobile fight week, international fight week, and it's just made it that much more significant for you and your team. Yeah. Fighting, you know, going in there and just being me is, is what I do, right? I try not to build anything up. Uh, fighting international fight week is awesome. I mean, I was, you know, really trying to work on keeping the momentum, you know, especially with my fight in March and, uh, you know, I'm just, I just, I'm so blessed and grateful to do what I do and I just love being here. When you guys uh, entangled, you, you gave them just as good as you got, 
and he just got off to such a fast, hard pace. Uh, it was almost like, you know, the Knights play here. It looked like a hockey fight. You just held to type plunk, boom, boom, boom. Was that what you expected to say? Like, hey, if she wants to, like, keep rising the stakes, I'm going to meet you right there. Yeah. And I can do this now. Yeah. So basically 2.0. Yeah. No, I 100% expected her to come out guns blazing. Yeah. And that's why all fight week I was kind of saying that she was a mess. It wasn't disrespect. It was just um, the fact that she just, her emotions are always heightened. So it's like when your emotions are always heightened, you can't really see what's going on. You can't actually, you don't understand what's happening. Um, so I think that she gasses herself out like that. And, uh, you know, and I knew it was going to be a crazy, crazy fight, you know, so I just had to weather the storm. Yeah, awesome stuff. Speaking of crazy, not that long ago you were away for a year. Now, come Monday morning, you might be top five. How insane is that? Or maybe top three if you just switch that side. I better be top five. <laughs> I'm hoping. That, that was my goal on my list, right? I have a list of things. Uh, and that would be awesome. That would be, be a huge blessing. Congrats on the win. I love that dream with the Dark Force. You yeah. the Dark Force of the Vision. Don't decide you come. Yeah. Thank you.